Good morning, AJ. Conscious evolution. I'm going to spend a minute here and uh, because basically, listen to Bashar. There is no yesterday, there's no tomorrow. You're starting and from ground zero. And maybe right have now. a discussion this about moment, it at this moment, at this moment, moment. Wow. right now. I don't know much of a discussion, and, uh, it's just me talking, but uh. Yeah, that's that's something before. I thought was pretty you're interesting starting, here. You're starting over and I think yeah, I got the yeah, time I mean, right on the video. I am driving, so it's really hard to tell. But it's about really learning from that and learning how to define. Looks like I messed it up a little bit. To be based on whatever experience uh, you're connecting to, and whatever it is you wish to go from there. But do I look pretty? Bashar has really said literally. So pretty. Every moment is literally a new moment. Every moment is literally a new reality, and we're literally shifting billions of times per second through parallel realities. In fact, he says that's actually what time is. The present is not the result of the past. No. And the future is not the result of the present. No. Please expand, explain. All things exist now. You understand that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm not sure I understand that. Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, yes. Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> then what you call the past and what you call the future and all of its variations in both directions also all exist at the same time. Look at it as probabilities, yes? Yes. Nothing is chiseled in stone, as you humans say. It's probabilities, but they all exist. You will experience what you're the energy of. But looking at it from a linear perspective, because we know that when you create a linear experience, you create a connected continuity to other realities that simultaneously coexist that you call the past and that you call the future for convenience sake. But they all exist right now. But the point is, is that even when you create that linear connection, whatever you choose to be in the present, that's a completely different person from moment to moment to moment to moment to moment. So when you redesign and redefine yourself as a completely different person in the present, that means that in order to actually have become that person, you had to have a different past. Wow. So the present actually changes the past. Does that make sense? Absolutely. When you define who you are, right now, every moment, you make new connections to other simultaneous realities that you call the past and the future. But you do that every single time you change, every single moment. So you're never the same person, literally, and you never have the same past. You only think you do. And when you stop creating that sense of continuity or you design the continuity or focus the continuity connections to serve you in the way you prefer, then you will realize that you can take what we call the 13th step. And when you truly define who you are, then it's not about the fact that you've changed and you no longer do that. You never did. Do you understand? That was a different person. That is a different person. So let's say, for example, someone experiences what you call an addictive habit. If they truly, truly, truly allow themselves to fully understand that they become a new person in each moment, then they will understand that the person they are now never had the habit. That's why there's no urge. You can see this clearly demonstrated physically in your reality in cases that your doctors call multiple personality disorder. There are documented cases on your planet of one personality having a cancerous tumor, but as soon as they shift to the next personality, they don't. There are documented cases of one personality having allergic reactions and another personality not. There are even cases of one personality having one color eye and another a different color eye. They are literally different people, literally. literally. And so are you from moment to moment to moment to moment to moment to moment to moment. When you really know that, then you will know that at every moment you are at ground zero. Whatever past you want is what you get. Whatever future you want is what you get. With that person you are being right now. Our customized insurance. Uh, are you serious? Of course it would do that. In the middle of recording. You little stinkers. So, wow. You literally become a new person. A new person from moment to moment to moment. 
every moment is literally ground zero. How profound is that? How, why do, I mean, can you wrap your mind around that? Every moment you are a new person, literally. So when you change, you make a change in your life or, or in your state of mind, you change how you perceive things, you are literally becoming a different person with a different past. I mean, past is, is nothing but an illusion that we have in our head. You know, it's a projection of a memory And another thing I, I heard, I thought was pretty crazy that that memories aren't necessarily stored in your brain. They're, everything that happens in this world, in this planet, on this plane, is recorded. There's a record of it, the Akashic record. So I heard that, and it's profound to me, that we don't store the memories in our brains. We're actually accessing that point in time out of the ethers out of the zero point etheric or whatever they call it whatever the kids call it these days <laughs> so say you're studying for a test you're reading that page in a book and while you're taking the test you want to reference that page you are literally calling it from the ethers or zero point whatever you want to call it pick your flavor so that's that's profound so people that have photographic memories i wonder if they're just excellent at being able to access the zero point energy field and you don't even know it no idea we're doing it just like we don't have it i didn't have an idea that we are literally changing the different people from moment to moment to moment to moment and when you make a conscious decision to change your life or change your 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 thought patterns then you in turn create a different past you had a different past and that thing about people with you know uh, multiple personalities or one of them has a cancer tumor and then in the other personality doesn't how do you explain that in any other way than shifting through realities i tried to figure that out i just it doesn't i can't think of a way I mean, maybe i'm just not thinking of it but i can't can't think of a way that you could have a cancerous tumor one day because you're a personality and then the next day or the next personality whatever it is whatever time it is um not have that tumor anymore how do you explain that other than we have multiple realities that we're shifting from billions of time per second like a frame rate i don't know food for thought for the day love you guys